I know it's been a while, but I'm back making content again. What better way to return than with a helpful guide to teach you how to reach Athena 30 in the quickest way possible. Before we get into the video, make sure to join almost 600 members in the Mystic Penthouse Discord server to speak with other members of this amazing community. If you would like to join the Penthouse suite along with so many others, visit the link in the description. If you'd also like to support the channel and myself in making more content, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button for exclusive rewards. Finally, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, it's completely free and I would love to reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers so each and every one of you can help by subscribing, liking, commenting and sharing the channel with your friends and family. First things first, this method in my opinion is best done with either two or three players. This is mainly for efficiency and does not exclude other crew sizes. Obviously, you're going to need to be a pirate legend for this method, or at least one member of your crew is, but it does help with cycling voyages if at least two people in the crew are pirate legend. Head down to the pirate legend hideout and grab a legend of the veil voyage. If you already have one from a previous server, place that voyage down first and then grab a new one. You're also going to want to raise the Athena Emissary and grab as many supplies as you can from the outpost as you can expect some company while doing this voyage. Place down the voyage and begin. You will receive a book containing one of three steps. A shipwrecked fleet, a bell voyage or suds voyages. I won't waste too much time going in depth with each part of the voyage as suds can change between three different outcomes. Instead, I will leave a link to the Rare Thief guide at the top of the description, which contains just about every bit of information regarding how to complete this voyage. Briefly though, if you see a picture of Bell, it will lead you to any of the neighbouring islands. Once there, find Bell, which will be indicated in the book, and speak to her. She will give you a soul flame lantern to find ancient statues to light up. Each island has set locations for these statues, but the first statue is always next to Bell. This then creates beacons for the remaining statues to be found, and once you've lit all of them, it will spawn a final statue in the centre of the map, which will create waves of phantoms for you to defeat. Once you complete, you will receive a Veil Stone. Next is the Shipwrecked Fleet. Head to the designated area of the map which is stated in the book, and you'll see birds flying above a shipwreck above the water. Underneath you'll find the white boat and inside a ship log will be usually on the shelf on the bottom deck. In the ship's log it will tell you where the key to the captain's quarters is which will be hidden in that boat. Find the key and unlock the captain's quarters for this veilstone. Finally, Suds. Head to the island which is hinted in the book. He will also leave a hint where he is on that island and once you speak to him he will give you one of three maps to lead you to the neighbouring island for a dig up. This is mainly where I recommend using the Rare Thief Guide if you need assistance to find this dig. Moving on, once you've completed two Veil Stones, the final tornado will spawn, surrounded by phantom forts. You need to destroy three towers before completing the main fort and the eye of the tornado. The surrounding forts take five cannonballs to destroy, while the middle fort scales depending on boat size. My advice here is to shoot anything that has a green glow and also sail as close as possible to the forts as you can and this way you will be out of the fort cannon range. Once complete you'll be Emissary 5. This is where the main guide starts. Head to your nearest outpost, make sure to claim the Emissary 5 Voyage from the Mysterious Stranger and then lower your flag. Once lowered, re-raise the emissary and place down a new voyage, ensuring to pick up a new one while you're at the outpost as well. This will give you three new quests on top of the veil you just placed down and what you want to do is mark them on your map and only complete them when it's convenient to the pathing of your veil. For example, if you're heading to Thieves Haven to meet Suds there, you also have a riddle from your emissary quest complete that quest to get more Athena loot before leaving, or get one of your crew members to find suds and one of your crew members to do the riddle at the same time. 
Cycle this process and the more emissary quests you stack, the more likely it is that the Veil Voyage will send you to one of the islands you already have, for example, seven Athena digs on. Multiplying the Athena loot you are getting, as well as the reputation and gold from lowering and re-raising emissary. Ensure you always grab a new quest every time before lowering to ensure that they can stack on top of each other, and you have to ensure that you lower and re-raise your emissary flag otherwise you will not earn new quests, on top of the already existing Veil Voyages you are doing. I hope this guide really helps you in leveling up your Athena in the quickest way possible. If you like this video make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out the other videos on my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.